Okay, so the guy I got for my secret Santa on Imager uh, said he liked both Overwatch and D&D. Uh, &D. And I myself have just gotten a D&D, &D and I have a 3D printer. This one's fairly new, it's only three months old, but I've never really printed anything like novelty like this. I printed a couple little things for my daughter, but most of the things have been like things like Arduino cases and you know 3D printer parts. So I thought I'd give miniatures a try. Uh, so I, I, it's experimental to me because I've never done it. I bought a couple new nozzles, uh, one finer point one that I printed a few things on and one coarser one that I tried to print a few things on but the quality is just kind of lacking like I can't even tell what number that is. So I'll probably print you more of these. I'm going to go over what I've printed. Um, so that is a inspiration token. I'm going to be printing probably four or five more. I don't know how big your, your party is. Um, I did print a D20. I printed it in solid plastic, so it took a while, um, and I did attempt to paint it. I'm very sorry. Um, I am not a great painter. This is just white acrylic. Um, if you want, you can sand it all off and, you know, paint it. I, I didn't even, I just put a thin layer on cardboard and just kind of dipped the dice in there so that uh, I wouldn't get it in the black, but you can see the quality is severely lacking. Uh, I apologize, but you know, I'm just including it because I thought it would be like a neat novelty. Um, so, I mean, like, you can barely tell that's a 7. I think the 17 is the worst one. That's an 11, and then the 7, that's a 14. And where's the 17? The 10 has been butchered. Either way, um, I'm not a great painter. Uh, that's the 10. Where's the 17? Wow, I've looked at, there it is. See, it looks so much like the 11. So that's, that's the 17, the one with a little notch right there, so... Anyway, um, it's nicely weighted, but uh, definitely not the ideal thing. It's more the novelty factor. Wow, I have a 3D printed D20. Uh, I printed a campfire, in case uh, your party decides to rest up and want a campfire. Uh, I printed a... I'm going to have to do an overlay. I think it's a cave ogre or something like that. It's a 26mm... Um, um, uh, I think it's epic boss? I'm not sure. Um, this one's actually my favorite. It was the first one I printed out, and it turned out really well. It's a, a Grick. Um, and uh, it's really detailed. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So you can see its mouth and all the little suction cups on those things. And I don't know, the base is uh, not, I think it's like 13 millimeters or something, which I, I think is a standard or something. And again, I apologize if these are all the wrong size. I know these ones I think are 26 millimeters, those ones. Um, this one didn't come with a base, but I just liked the way he looked so much that I had to to give them a shot and it was also my first time using the very fine nozzle and I was, so you can see some lines I didn't have the the settings all dialed in this one turned out a little better more detailed come on focus there we go more detailed which is kind of nice um this guy's a wraith a wrath wraith um his, he has a crown I don't know really why but I just really liked how the tentacles kind of stuck up uh, on him but uh Anyway, I, uh, I hope you enjoy this. I also included a box of D&D, uh, &D, um, like a, a set, um, just for making, uh, I think I bought the dungeon one um, from a local comic book store, so I hope you like it. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it took me a long time, a lot of practice, a lot of, there's a lot of failures, a lot of failures of printing, just because of like supporting something like that, you can't print over thin air, but so I hope you appreciate it, and uh, if I, if you end up using any of these, please let me know. I'm kind of curious as I'm I'm getting into D and D as well. So uh, yeah, make sure you uh, post it if you use it, and I'll include a couple more probably of these. I'm gonna print right now in a, a better detail, um, just for inspiration tokens and what whatever you want. Uh, but uh, anyway, enjoy.